I will try to to do a little bit of remote thing. So this is this will be live. Uh, I'm uh, remoting my computer at the museum, just adjacent to the hotel. <laughs> uh, my name is Sten Okesen, and I am a, a technician. I am a, a, an IT coordinator at uh, the museum, at uh, the Digi uh, uh, City Museum of Stockholm. And uh, uh, I have been working with this uh, project, the, uh, the Digital City Museum of Stockholm, for four years. I have a back background as uh, an IT developer and a flight engineer, and I'm also a, a um, graduated teacher I'm working in the school system for almost 10 years. And I'm a photo geek, so this is my background, and it serves me quite well in, in, in this project we have, we have had. This is a picture of the museum, and uh, this is our starting point. Uh, we uh, started this uh, project uh, <coughs> for about four years uh, ago. Uh, over, actually, it was started earlier, maybe in the 2007 or something, when, when people started to think of, of what to do. With, with all our uh, collections and everything, and uh, how to display it and get it out on the internet. But uh, this project uh, uh, has a background that the uh, city put in a lot of money in developing the IT uh, systems, and we got new databases uh, standardized in, in the city. That is one of the cornerstones uh, in this uh, project. Uh, we couldn't have done it without it, and they also st uh, started up an open data initiative. That is also something that we can uh, can uh, use uh, as as uh, a support in, in, in this work. But uh, it it is very much like a big uh, building, an IT backbone in a museum in order to support what you want to do on the in internet and bringing digital asset management to the museum, because if you have a lot of digi digital assets, you have to have proper digital asset management. Uh, uh, and uh, the thing is also that uh, we have we have uh, two main uh, design targets. Uh, first, the first one is, of course, to get all the collections out to the public, and the second is to make the whole process uh, to improve the processes, mainly the photo processes, since we have so many uh, photographs to, to take, analog photographs to, to handle, and, and, and speed up these processes in order to, to uh, take care of uh, this historical heritage that uh, is slowly deteriorating in quality in stores. So that is a, a big challenge. We have three million, about three million um, pictures, and we have digitized about one percent of that, something like forty thousand today, of, of the photographs, and then we have a lot of other pictures too, of course. We had to choose uh, direction, and. Uh, this is a, a normal way of doing it, consolidation. Push everything into the big database that is going to solve the museum's old problems. And uh, uh, we choose the other way, integration. Because we had a very minimalistic uh, project, really. It was, I, I, I am the only uh, IT guy in, in this project. And we have also our librarian, that is our metadata uh, guru, that uh, uh, takes care of all this, these metadata <coughs> structures. And uh, we, have, we have had uh, a possibility to, to use this integration services in SQL Server, which is the database management system of the city. And we have used that to integrate on the low level. For example, we are using data from the city's estate database. 
real estate database for, for street names, blocks, uh, real estate numbers, whatever. And we, we use Photoware to integrate. Photoware is a system built for the newspapers, but Photoware is looking for new markets and they are looking for, for example, the museums and everybody that, that have a problem with, uh, with handling a lot of pictures. But the new thing is that we went to them with another task. We wanted uh, actually to use Photoware as a means to integrate all the different sources of information, digital sources that we have in, in the museum. So before, all the, the system we had, they were, they were islands, digital islands, and there were no, uh, no uh, synergy at all between them. So the task is to make something that horizontally makes it possible to unite the whole organization and have one single system that integrates everything. So we leave all the old operation databases as they are almost. A little bit we have changed them, but not very much. And we are tapping them on the data. And we are also able to integrate file data of, of any, any kind of, of uh, any kind of files, actually. Have you attempted already? Okay. Oh, the connection is broken. Shit. <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, then we have to go to my backup plan. to get online again. It says connected. understand why this doesn't work. Is that? Maybe if you restart the computer. No, no, maybe just terminate. If there's a running process that's hanging, maybe just mm. terminate it and restart the process. Mm -hmm. I, I have to do that. Hmm. <coughs> maybe we could take some questions now to use the time. Yeah. 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 So please see. Is there any? Uh, 
No, it's it's not commissioned. I mean, yeah. none none of those projects were commissioned actually. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, if I forgot to mention that, which is actually very important. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's quite interesting because uh, that's how I used to work. Like, I'm I'm obviously trying to attract different uh, different parties to mm. to uh, yeah to take part or facilitate, but usually I'm kind of hitting the wall, so to speak. So then I'm just doing it on my own, okay. or I'm trying to find some research yeah. support yeah. from institutions yeah. like universities, yeah. and then eventually. Uh, you know, they're getting attracted when they see the result. And I think that's a general tendency, that if you're doing maybe something that is not necessarily in line with, uh, with conventional... Uh, and what are you thinking about the future for the projects? How will they be preserved for, for history, so to say? Yeah, I mean, I, I consider now, you know, since I have this whole database, I consider trying to, again, attract certain institutions if they will be interested in in kind of hosting the, the project. Yeah, but, I'm but, thinking about yeah. the, uh, the state archives. Yeah, exactly. This one. Yeah. So, so that might be, uh, yeah, that might happen, and especially because now I'm affiliated with the Living Archive project, which is a, yeah, which is a name, and that would be probably easier, you know, than just working on your own as an individual autonomously, I think. Uh, and I didn't really understand if you are just recording sounds, or if it's also, like images. I, I'm taking pictures. But I'm I'm doing video. I'm filming <coughs> spaces. I'm I'm doing a lot of different cross media uh, activities. But the sound is the major uh, major medium. And the idea is to create some form of a walk itinerary uh, that you can follow later on in the, in the context of a new space that will be purely sound based. So. The Wi-Fi is very bad. Yeah. The Wi-Fi is very bad. Yeah. My, my, my laptop is working, but do you want something? No, I, I, need, uh, I need that part of software to, to connect, and you haven't got that. Oh, the Wi-Fi is not in, yeah. in, in the whole building? Well, I, think, yeah. I think it will work now. Hmm. Yeah, so, we will hope, I hope it will last the rest of the session. Okay. <coughs> so, yes. uh, this is an overview of how our world looks. A lot of operational uh, legacy databases, uh, Stockholm's real estate uh, database, some file data, all sorts of file data. We have photoware here, SQL Server in a box. This is our, our machinery. And in, in this, uh, uh, is in, in, uh, this fo photo uh, database, and also in another artifact database, we have a so-called system interface table. And that is something that we have invented in order to tie everything together. And that is the really heart of the system. Everything that goes from photoware up to the photo database, which is a SQL Server database, uh, is passing this table. Everything that is going down is passing that table. It is a superset. And we can also use it uh, to, uh, to take, for example, an Excel sheet where we, where we uh, uh, have the documentation over all our films and push it into this, put the films, film files in an archive, uh, um, index that and bring it up in, in the control room application, mark the films and after that you can push the data into the files and then you're up and running. Because all this, all this in the control room application uh, is connected to the database and we can apply the data very easy to any, any uh, objects that we, we prefer to, to handle. I mean uh, loose files in file systems. Otherwise you, you are doing it connected uh, for example with, with the, the photographs in a two-way solution up and down hot links. 
and we have a lot of different files in the file structures. So this is like a tree. It's the stem of a tree and the root system here where we have all our data and we process it and push down the data in the, the documents. And there is a, a standard that is the backbone of, the, of this system and it is XMP, Extensible Markup Platform, which is an Adobe standard. And together with that standard, uh, we, have, we have also a TIFF, Tag Image File Format, a DNG, Digital neg net, uh, Negative, uh, and also PDF, which is, is owned by Adobe. That is the standard platform for building dig digital asset management systems. Positive effects of, of what we have done is that uh, we have uh, efficient publishing uh, within uh, our organization and externally. We have a common search interface, scalable storage, and one single truth in the system, no duplicate. We had a chaos, chaos from the beginning, and we have moved from the chaos, and we have just one set of files that we uh, actually are handling now. And that is a big improvement because in the photo archive we have had uh, severe problems in, in, and uh, they are made, sometimes also they digitize the same file over and over again because they don't know where, if they had a copy before and so on. So it's a lot of uh, economy of scale in, in a solution like this when it comes to, to the work uh, the di uh, digitizing of, of, of uh, the objects. So uh, also it's very uh, important for the organization because now everybody can see everything and everybody can access uh, everything is transparent. The organization now has the potential to work as one single unit which it didn't have before. And we have a complete automation platform that let us integrate anything, really, with the, these two tools that we have. And new possibilities also to collaborate with the public, because we have apps and, and mobile phone uh, applications that they can upload the data to our system with. And it is more a social thing, do we want it? and in which form shall it take place. This is the system, and uh, from the beginning, this is the legacy system, the database, and an old application. The rest is, is something that we have tied together now. And uh, we have the file storage, we have Stockholm Estate, real estate database, we have the photo uh, database, we have uh, an index system, which is part of Photoware, and we have an automation platform that's called Color Factory, which has nothing to do really with color, but uh, it is a, 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 an automation hub, really. And we also have a web, which is part of this system, and a, a, a control application, and also <coughs> a plugin to Office and, and InDesign, which may make it possible, for example, the, uh, when you're sitting in, in Word or PowerPoint, you, you have a, a, an insert option and Photoware is there as an icon. You click on it, it opens up, you make a search, it sends a command to the server, sends back a list of photographs that you can see with metadata, you pull it into the document and it's a total integration in your everyday life. Key techniques are the XMP, the metadata is stored within XMP, XMP compatab, uh, com, compatible files, which are DNG, PDFs, JPEGs, TIFFs, all other files we are getting sidecar files, which is the metadata in a separate file, where the files have the same name but a different extension, and the data file is called XMP. The extension is XMP. The system is handle it, ha handling it totally transparent, so you never have to think of it. Uh, we have also uh, 
Uh, yeah, the, the index is, system makes everything searchable in one uh, single situation. And uh, the, the possibility to do that uh, comes from that uh, the, the <coughs> templates, the web templates, we have changed them so that uh, uh, fields that doesn't contain any data are hidden. This, this gives a possibility to handle searches from uh, a material that has very different uh, uh, data schemas. So it's uh, uh, like, for example, an, an, uh, a picture of an artifact. It has one uh, single set of, of <coughs> namespaces that we are using for that. And ordinary photographs has its, uh, has its own. And we can tie forms that uh, the system are using to adding this data to different indexes uh, that uh, keep track on the files. So we can use uh, a, a form, a special form for that matches the, the data upset for, for the, the different type of data. And this interface table is also very important. And as a format you, that we use, the museum has standardized on DNG, which is a, a, um, an open, common, um, raw for, uh, file format that uh, we use instead of these proprietary uh, file formats that uh, the manufacturers uh, uh, want people to use. Because there you have acti actually, in some cases, a single format for each camera, camera model. So we use one, one uh, format, uh, it's DNG. And the, the, the good things with this is that the DNG can host the raw data a, a, a baked in JPEG and also inside of that you, you can also use uh, 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 or you, you get the meta, metadata. So this is uh, how, how that looks. And the system looks like this. You have uh, a possibility to, uh, for example, send in fi files and they are split here, here you have uh, a, a row of, of, of indexes. On the other side, you have a lot of activities that acts on the files. So if, if I take a file like this and uh, I send it into the system, it will vanish from my workspace so I know that it is processed when it is processed. And it appears here. They don't need to think anything. And when they scan the pictures, they send it, send it in. If we have a match to the, uh, to the database, it's match on file name, it will get the metadata immediately in this process. And we also have a delivery file, which is a full size uh, of uh, JPEGs. And we have a sketch file, which actually carries the met metadata. And if I want to, to make some post-processing, if I'm not uh, uh, satisfied with the, the automatic uh, handling of this, I, uh, I just uh, can do it in Photoshop, add the process file, and send it in to replace what we have. And you see, I have cooked the file here, so you can see that it's a very, very big difference of how it looked. And after a while, we shall, shall be able to see that these are exchanged. And the trick that we always also have got Photoware to do is that we can change the file and preserve the metadata, so we don't destroy the metadata when we change the, the, the content of the file. We have also another system that is uh, a system that we have together. It's a joint venture with, other, uh, with the city archive and with other museums that we can populate. So if I say, for example, export to the Stockholm source, the Stockholm Shellan, 
this will bring uh, an update metadata in certain fields that are used in this system. And it will fill these uh, fields with metadata uh, that we have in, in the other fields. Uh, also you have workflows here. So you can see that now I, I, I have uh, got a, a lot of new things into the system so people know how to handle this, to add metadata to things that flows into the system from the people that scan uh, pictures or people that send them in for, with the, uh, yeah, camera taking pictures. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.